Okay, I'm going to make a quick video on editing keyboards really quickly. Um, I'm going to make a porcupine keyboard here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by selecting the Wilson keyboard. It gives me a nice mm. template here. And then um, I open up the edit keyboard and I can drag it and things. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the temperament. Um, and I'm going to pick 42... I'm sorry, for, for, uh, 22... Somewhere around here, I've got porcupine, 22, T, T, and I'm here. So now, um, I, I'm on the keyboard, and I can move things around, or where, let's get to here. So I want to make a seven, I'm going to try to make a porcupine keyboard that's seven um, columns, which is why I picked this one, but this is not a particularly nice one. Now, since I don't have a touch screen, I'm, I'm going to click on the one touch edit. What that does is it allows me to have more than one touch point at the same time and hold it, um, it, it when I click it, it'll, you know, it, it leaves the touch point on so I can drag things. Now these two arrows are the generators and, and right since this is porcupine, one of the generators is two one and one of them is 10 ninths, but I want to move it. I want my 10 ninths to be closer. So it's much more like a piano keyboard. So I'm going to move it to here, but now we have gaps and, and I'm going to use this to, um, opportunity to show you one feature, which nobody probably will ever want to use, but which I have experimented with and that's duplicate keys. One thing you can do if you have gaps is you can hit duplicate keys and it'll give you another vector in yellow here. And if you drag that, what it'll do is it, that's the direction where it duplicates the keys on older versions. It just had a lot of dots on this one. It has. Um, you know, the dots followed by, you know, the, the number of the copy. Now, so this will give you a non-regular lattice in a sense. In some sense, it actually still is regular because um, these, it's just that the key is the shape now of having two keys over and over again. But anyways, this is something I've experimented with. But if you see dot, oh, sorry, if you see dots like that, my little camera stand fell, you probably want to, uh, you, you know, you may want to remove this here. All right, so now that I have this, what do I want to do? Well, I actually have these gaps and I want to remove them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to then drag this up here so that I actually now am covering the lattice. Th these two vectors now span the entire lattice. But now I want to move my octave down. So I'm going to do that by moving to, you could do this with three points, but I'm going to move to shear. And what that does is then it will shear these rectangles. And so I can then align them as so. And now I have my um, keyboard pretty much done. Sorry, it fell again. I apologize. This is a quick video I'm making, and I don't have a good camera setup. So now hopefully everybody can, hopefully it is visible. I can't see what I'm recording. But um, we now have um, this, oh, uh, there, that was the three points. Let me get that back to normal here. Um, cause I didn't turn off three point editing, but anyways, here you can see, you know, I now have my keyboard set up the way I want it and it can play nicely. Now, one may not want to have rectangles. Well, if one doesn't want to have rectangles on the keyboard, you can look right here in this, um, there's this key shape rectangle. If I go to Veroni cell, then it will make it a nice little hexagon, um, well, type shape. And then one can, you know, use the three-point touch. I'm going to remove the two-point touch now to kind of shape it, you know. So uh, it's it's easier to do with actually three points. But, you know, let's see. How do I want to shape it? Uh, if I wanted to shrink it up, kind of, I could kind of shrink it up like that. Maybe, um, I don't, you know, to make them, I'm trying to make, I'm attempting to make them more hexagonal. There we go. There we got some nice hexagons. And then I'm going to go and I'll shift it to rotate and resize. And then when I do my two, whoa, what happened there? Oh, I've got two point touch off there. That's why it didn't work. Now I can, uh, ah, two point edit there. Then I can rotate it around and I have this little doozy. So now I've got 10, eight here to this eight, seven there. But anyways, this is kind of an example of how one can edit some of the keyboards. Hopefully it will be useful. Thank you.